we're anticipating a pretty big crowd. And the little wizard should perform his money-making magic. I'm sure crowd control is going to be kind of fun. Which is good news for family-owned theater Hall Cinema 7. This week, big 18-wheeler rolled in here, and uh, we unloaded, I guess, six or seven pallets of uh, candy, popcorn, and, of course, Coke stuff will be in here tomorrow. By his calculations, owner Danny Wallace has more than enough Harry Potter products and concessions to make everyone happy. And like magic, some other factors should help the business as well. And I'm a big football fan, but Halls is out of the playoff. Uh, Tennessee's got an early kick on at 12.30, so that'll all be over with. Rain all weekend, so I've already made the schedule out, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready to roll. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets is expected to bring in some $75 million in its weekend debut nationwide, much like the first Harry Potter. You know, I anticipate my numbers being real close to the same, which was one of the bigger grossing movies that, that had ever come out of Halls. A projector waits anxiously, while an empty theater anticipates many little wizards of its own. I would like to see some kids dressed up. I think that would be cool. But the business should be red hot. I'm here for the duration. Like I said, I've got me a little studio apartment here in the theater, so uh, uh, I'm here from daylight to dark.